So to pair it, you just go up, down real quick. You see these blinking, and then they should go solid. And there's a couple different ways to take off. You can just push up on the throttle, and then push up again, and fly it. Oh. Otherwise, you can push up on the throttle and then push this little automatic takeoff button. And there's one more way that you can not really take off, but you can just throw this thing and it should start flying on its own. Whoa. So there's two different modes on this. I'm in mode one now. You can flip it to mode two. And it's a little bit faster this way. It's drifting a little bit to the, to the right there. Let's go ahead and try a flip. Push the flip button and then the direction I want to flip. Flies around pretty decently. It's kind of wanting to drift forward a little bit there. Maybe I can trim it out. Go ahead and land it here. So there's also a kind of a calibration. You can hit that, it'll calibrate it, maybe make it go a little bit better here. There's also a kind of a kill switch on this thing to where if you push both remotes inwards it should kill the motors so I'll kind of bring it over the table see if I can try that that kind of worked another thing I noticed about this is that these arms don't lock into place so if it lands or something they're gonna fold in a little bit and there's just nothing that locks them into place Go ahead and fly it and just burn the rest of the battery. Well, I lost control. And I regained it. So I kind of lost control of the... Uh, the drone there, so I'm assuming maybe the range is probably not quite a hundred feet. Not too, too speedy, or very agile. 
I suppose for a beginner, it might be pretty cool how it folds up and it does compact pretty slow or small. Let's do another flip here. All right, we got a light flashing, so I'm assuming that it's uh, running out of battery. We'll go ahead and bring it in here. 